Dear and subscribers, welcome back to the Sports Perspective TV. As always, you know, thank you for tuning in. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. So in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about Kemar Roach. We'll see where he put on a brilliant performance today in the English Championship to put his team in a very strong position to win the match. So we're going to be looking at his performance and also um, talking about the IPL. So in the IPL, we'll see where um, the, the, the push for playoff spots, you know, it's, it, it's very tight. It's a, it's a very close race for the playoff spots. So we're going to be um, also looking at the, the IPL results from today and um, also the, the, the race for playoff, playoff position. So let's stick around to the end of the video and as we discuss these topics. So starting with Kemar Roach. Today, um, in the English Championship, he he took six for forty six, you know, to put his team, sorry, in a very um good position, a very strong position to to win their match, um, against Warwickshire in the English Championship today, right? Um, so definitely good to see Kemar Roach bowling well, you know, taking wickets in the English Championship as well. You know, we know Jaden Seals have been in brilliant form. Kemar Roach not as much but he did put on a brilliant performance today so again he took six for 46 today um against warwickshire you know um he bowled um so in the um in the match in the innings he bowled uh 14 overs you know and took six for 46 right so brilliant bowling performance by um kemar roach um which means uh sorry they are and sorry in reply they're currently 31 without loss um needing another 58 runs to to win win the match so they'll they will um do that um tomorrow more than likely you know they will uh win the match so a brilliant performance by kemar roach you know to put his team in a very strong position to win the match and like i said it's good to see kemar roach taking wickets you know, in the English Championship. Obviously, the West Indies will be touring England in um, later on in the summer. And um, him, you know, being familiar with English conditions, I do expect him to be in the West Indies squad. So definitely good to see him taking wickets in English conditions, which a lot of people, a lot of fans have doubted his ability to take wickets in English conditions. So, you know, him taking um, six wickets today is definitely... You know him you know showing that you know he he can um take wickets you know in english condition so a huge shout out to kemar roach on that, that that brilliant bowling performance today you know um taking six wickets is definitely no easy feat so whenever we see um our bowlers doing well especially in um especially overseas are in english conditions definitely want to give them a huge shout out Jaden Seals have been bowling brilliant in the English Championship as well, you know, being the leading wicket taker. And now Kemar Roach has put up a brilliant performance. And we see where Jason Holder, you know, he scored a century yesterday. So the West Indians are doing uh, well in the English Championship, which is a very good sign for us West Indian fans as they they prepare to take uh, to tour England in the summer. Right. So. Again, a huge shout out to Kemar Roach and his brilliant performance today. Then moving on now to um, IPL. Um, so in IPL today, um, She Hope, his team, um, Delhi Capitals, they went up against the, the Shanghai Super Kings. Um, the, the Super Kings won the match, you know, so Delhi Capitals didn't win, but She Hope, you know, he, he scored, um, I think it was 27 um in the innings for um for delhi you know unfortunately that wasn't enough for for them to to win the match you know but she hope batted decent you know it was um wasn't a, a fast paced innings from she hope but nevertheless runs his runs and um in the context of the game and how his team batted you know his innings was um definitely important for delhi capitals even though they they lost the match so um so he scored 29 from 23 balls right so definitely not a fast pace um innings but in the context of the game it was important even though um his team lost the match um but um so and with that loss um or with that win you know if you're looking at it from the, the shanghai super kings perspective you know that put them closer to securing a playoff spot you know um the playoff race in the ipl is very tight right so 
the current IPO standings are so we have the Calcutta Knight Riders, which is the team of Andre Russell and Sunil Narayan. They are on 18 points and they have already secured a playoff spot. You know, in second is the Rajasthan Royals, which is uh, Shimron Hetmeyer and um, Ravman Paul's team. You know, um, they are they are on 16 points. Um, somewhat secure, you know, I think more than likely they will. They, their playoff spot is secure as well, but you never know. Um, there are still a few teams who, who have uh, matches remaining that can possibly um, tie them on points, and then depending on the um, net run rate, you know that will uh, determine whether or not you know they make it through. But they have a few games remaining, and they're currently on 16 points, so more than likely they will um, also you know secure a, a playoff spot. And third is the Shanghai Super Kings with that victory today that you know lifted lifted them up in the table to third on 14 points also on 14 points is the sunrisers um of hyderabad they are also on 14 points but they have um they have two matches remaining um the shenhai super kings only have one match remaining um so um it's possible that that hyderabad can overtake the super kings if they win the, the remaining matches in fifth is uh rcb you know, RCB, they have been, uh, they, have, they have found form of late. They started the season very poor, but uh, lately they have found form. I think they have won five or six matches in a row, which has propelled them up in the table. So they're, they're currently in fifth on 12 points. Um, in sixth is the Delhi Capitals um, on 12 points as well. So both RCB and the Delhi Capitals, they only have one match remaining, and they are on 12 points. Um and in seventh is the Lucknow Super Giants, also on 12 points with two matches remaining. Um, the Super Giants are the team of Nicholas Poran uh, and Shamar Joseph and Kyle Myers. So they have two matches remaining. They are on 12 points. You know, um, so they are looking to to you know make it into the playoffs as well. Right. Um, so as you can tell, you know, so there are three teams on 12 points and two teams on 14 points, you know, and all of those teams are vying for four spots right so the rajasthan and kolkata night riders you know they their spot is already secured for the most part but then they you have five teams fighting for um for the remaining spots right and it it is going to be a very close playoff race um so we'll see how it goes you know currently the shenhai super kings you know they are in third and hyderabad are in fourth but rcb Delhi Capitals and the Lucknow Super Giants also have have a chance of making it into the playoffs if they can win their matches and other results go in their favor. So the IPL race um will definitely come down to to the final set of matches. So we'll see which teams you know uh, eventually make it into the playoffs. But it's definitely been an exciting IPL season, and um, you can tell um by just the closeness are in the table of the teams and um, the fact that it's going to come down to the final set of matches to decide which teams actually make the playoffs. Right, so that's all I have for you in this video. If you're not subscribers, as always, thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.